Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm so excited to give you a tour of the 2023 Newmar Newware. And today you get to see a brand new floor plan. So there's four floor plans in the new era. They eliminated the 3541, uh, kept a few of the old, the other two and added two new floor plans. So this is a quad slide. Um, you can see that it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the graphics. This has the Sparta exterior paint and Newmar knows how to do paint. If you go and put your hand down the side of the paint, you don't feel as you go from one paint to the other in the transition. Lots of things to talk about right here at the front cap. So first of all, the very top, you'll see the first of our cameras that's gonna to contribute to that 360 camera view. You'll also see at the bottom of that beautiful big windshield, a rectangular box that's mobile eye, lane departure, lane detection, speed sign alert. Uh, we've got, they packed in a ton of safety features into the new air. So electronic stability control, adaptive cruise control, um, so many things, tire pressure monitor, things that I'll talk about as we go through, but really this is a luxury unit with all the bells and whistles. The windshield is the start of your adventure. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of weird, but really I kind of view it as my motion picture movie screen. I get behind the steering wheel and I hit the road and my vacation started and I get to see all the beautiful things that America has to offer and you do it you know, through that windshield as you're driving along the country. I also love the way that Newmar mounts their windshield. So if you look at it, it's very automotively mounted, doesn't have a big rubber gasket, just makes it look nice and sleek and luxury like it is. Also, Newmar has given us the diamond shield protectant across the whole front cap. Also near your, your handlebar, any high um, traffic areas, but especially that front cap, something that you want to protect your beautiful paint. I always suggest that once you get to your campground or once you get to your destination, uh, get out that water hose. I'm going to show you, you have a, a hot water line to the generator area behind your front cap. I hook that hose up and spray off my windshield and my front cap just to keep that nice and bug free. The new air comes standard with the chrome convex exterior mirrors. These are heated and internally controlled. They are gonna be your saving grace when you're driving. I love to have the 360 cameras and all the cameras, but really I rely mostly on my mirrors. The top portion of your mirror is electronically controlled inside. The bottom portion you have to uh, adjust yourself. So it always helps when you're in the driver's seat to have someone out here kind of making that just perfect for you. Then we have our first marker light for the passenger side of the coach. Just beyond that, we have our flagpole holder here. So this is an optional feature, kind of fun. If you're tailgating, if you just wanna be proud American and show off the flag or your favorite football team, baseball team, whatever, kind of fun to have that here. Here is your side view camera for the passenger side. This is just one of the cameras that's going to contribute to your 360 bird's eye view once you're inside the coach. This also is what gives you that shot of the full passenger side of the coach when you turn on your right blinker um, to make a turn. You'll see the whole picture frame change and you see all the way down here, you can see that it's safe as you make that turn. So here at the entry door, there's several ways to get into your coach. First of all, you've got the uh, key fob, then you've got your key, obviously. And then my favorite is that we have the keyless pad here. So this way you can set your own unique code um, give it to the grandkids, give it to the service technician, to your best friend if they need to get in. You don't have to be there. I also like that we have the doorbell so you can kind of, your friends can give you a little warning before they come walking in <laughs> if you happen to leave it open. I also love the handlebar that, new, that you get with the new air. It kind of lights up at night and it's pretty, not only that, it's functional too. So important that you have good hand, handlebars as you go in and out of a coach to keep you safe. I also want to talk about the 3549. For those of you are, that are new to shopping for Newmars, they, this, you may not know this. For our, you know, seasoned RVers, you already know this. The first two digits are the length of the coach. So this is a 35 foot coach. 
and the floor plan is the 49. This is a new floor plan, like I said, with quad side. Can't wait to show you more once we get inside. Again, Numar only gives you the best, so we've got the Michelin tires, 305s all the way around with the Alcoa rims, aluminum rims. Make sure you go and check out my video on Retroband. National Indoor RV Centers carries this exclusively. It's basically your spare within your tire, a run flat de device that is going to give you great peace of mind and keep you safe out on the road. We have version two out now, so check out that video and give us a call. Speaking of safety, another thing that Numar does for us here is they give us a metal shield that protects the fuel line. So again, if you were to happen to have a front end blowout, which you're not gonna have to worry about if you've got that retro band on there, um, it's gonna protect the fuel line because it's right behind your front tires. Speaking of fuel, here it is. We can fill up right here on the passenger side or on the driver's side, so dual fill. And it's a 90 gallon diesel fuel tank. You've also got the little tether on there. I know that seems silly, but it's nice because how many times have you forgotten your fuel cap when you don't have it? Just before that, we've got our second micro marker light for the passenger side. And then we have our first docking light. Docking lights are super important. I know most RVers, me being included, I don't like to drive when it's dark, but it never fails. You get a late start, you get caught in traffic, and you get to the campground and it's dark. These docking lights are a saving, your saving grace because they light up the area around the bottom of your coach, those picnic tables, those rocks, those trees, things that you're not expecting, Electric, electrical boxes, um, they help you watch out for those. So those are super important. Now let's check out the storage that we get with the new air. So our first compartment is going to have the freezer. And again, one of the things that I want to just mention as I go through the coach, this will be a little disclaimer. I'll probably remind you of it when we get inside too. Um, Numar is a custom builder of coaches. So you can customize your coach to your decor, your paint. You can pick a different paint color than they have. They offer several for you to choose from, but if you want um, something a little bit more vibrant or a little bit more subdued, you can change your colors for a small fee. Another thing is you can option in a lot of features. So as I go through the coach, because it's on this new era, doesn't mean that it's going to be on, that it's a standard item. There are a lot of standards and then there's a lot of options. So call your uh, RV lifestyle specialists at National Indoor RV Centers. They can walk you through an order form, let you know what comes standard and let you know what your options are. So here is our freezer, refrigerator freezer. You can set the temperature of this. Oh, it feels nice and cool. I think I'm just gonna like jump in there. <laughs> I wish it was bigger. Uh, we're here in uh, Las Vegas and it's supposed to be 110 today. So it's warm. So you can set that to be a freezer or a refrigerator. If you're tailgating, you wanna have, just have drinks out here, this is great. Or if you need, you know, you've been deep sea fishing out in Florida and you wanna, take some fish with you and freeze it, you can do that as well. This is our first storage compartment where we have the optional slide out tray and we can also power that tray, which is really nice. I know it's not a very big tray, but believe me, you'll find something that fits on there. And then they have the little drop down too. So that's really nice in case you want to slide a heavy toolbox on or off. It's very easy to use. So this isn't a full pass-through tray. This is 13 by 58. And then our next compartment, we have another power tray. Again, optional. And this looks like it's a full pass-through, but it actually stops. It doesn't go fully out the other side, which is kind of nice, because then you get some extra height um, on the other side if you have a, a something taller. These do take about two inches from your height between the chassis rail to the floor. So that's one of those things to think when you add the, the slides, you do the power trays or just any tray, you lose about two inches. So again, this is super nice. You can just slide this right off if needed. And we've got some extra tiles included just in case we ever need to replace a tile. These are uh, for you, to help you get a slide room in if for some reason the power slide does not work. You can manually do it. Um, we can help you walk walk you through that at National Indoor RV Centers. And then 
We've added the central vac, so those are the hoses for the central vac. So our next compartment, we open this way, and another big tray. So we have a 36 inch width and a 31 inch, so what is that, 67? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, 67 width-wise across on these trays and they are 58 inches deep. So it lets you know how much storage you have here, but you can see this big compartment. One of the things that I love about the New Air is that people think they're gonna lose a ton, ton of storage when they go to the New Air 35 foot coach, but the way they've done these doors, it really maximizes your space. Uh, so you can get a lot in there. And you'll also note that they're lit, the storage bays are lit. And if you look down here, you can see um, the cross bracing to help give you that extra support when you're going down the road. Now this new air is on the Spartan chassis. You can also choose a Freightliner chassis. So options with Dumar. Close this up. Oh, and that reminds me, one of the new big features for 2023 is they have given us new rubber sealing around the doors and they are much easier to close. So you just don't have to slam them. You can just kind of gently shut them and they shut. Oh, that's so nice because sometimes I feel like I'm going to like throw out a shoulder. I'm slamming the door so hard. All right, our next compartment is our optional exterior TV. Now it's down lower because on this floor plan we have the door side dinette. A lot of times when you have the door side dinette, you lose some of your storage and you have a bigger slide. Numars fixed that this year. We have a hydraulic slide on both sides, the passenger and driver's side. No drop down when it comes out. We don't lose any storage, but we do have the TV down here. So the TV does come out. It does, you can adjust it to where you need to see it. This is the 43 inch Samsung TV with sound bar. Also, I wanna note while I'm here because you can see it, there is an access panel and behind there you've got your slide room controls and your shade controls so really more of a service accent point access point your bose sound bar your controls we also have the bose uh, controller there so you can throw your dash um, radio out here if you've got music playing at the dash that you want to put outside you can easily do that right here and we've got two 110 outlets that are available now that I've got my TV all adjusted, I've put my awnings out. Now I just need to grab the drinks from the cooler and we're ready to have a great party here. Now, um, you know, things always don't go perfect on video day <laughs> and I can't find the remote for the Gerard awnings. So I could show you on the remote how that works, but I will find it, no problem. And uh, you can refer to one of my other videos if you want to see it. But these are remote controlled Gerard awnings. They have the extra Nova pitch, so they give you that extra shade. And the great thing is, is that Numar has a backup plan because they know that Angie will lose rem the remote. <laughs> um, so there is a panel inside the coach that does all the features that the remote does. So you turn it on, you unlock it, and then you can bring out one awning or both awnings. Um, you can turn on the lights from the remote or from the panel inside. So these awnings are great. You can see they provide a ton of shade. They make a world of difference. They do have a shake sensor on them so that if you know a strong wind comes along, like in Vegas right now, it's a really beautiful day. I mean, super hot, but um, overall the wind is just fairly gentle. In Texas, I would never leave my awnings and really anywhere. I would never leave my coach with the awnings out because even in Vegas, everywhere, every once in a while, a big gust of wind can come along and you wanna be here to make sure they go in um, if that happens. So we did, we were at an AIM rally once and um, the night before the rally started, a big gust of wind came along. We had a couple customers that lost their awnings. So anyway, word to the wise, just be out here enjoying this space when your awnings are out. Check out the beautiful windows on the new air. So for 2023, something that's new is that you have the option to have windows that open. So that wasn't an option on the 22. So now you can, your kitchen window will open, your living room window will open. So you can have that cross breeze if you'd like. So again, one of those things to talk to your RV lifestyle specialist about with that National Indoor RV Centers. All the windows are dual paned and tinted. 
Notice at the top here, we've got our patio light for safety as you get in and out of the coach. We also have a midship patio or, you know, security light that you can turn on. I like that. If you hear a noise outside, um, you can turn that on and scare away whoever is out here. We also have our uh, third, well, we've got the, the one in the front, our side view camera. This is our second camera that contributes to that 360 view. You can throw those cameras on at night if you hear a noise outside and see if you see anything. I just love it. It gives you a peace of mind as you're traveling down the road with being able to see that 360 view and also in the campground. Right next to our midship security light is our emergency egress door. So safety, do you, do you see that common thread coming up and up again? Um, Emergency egress door, if you need to get out of the coach, you'll note that there's no way to access this from outside, but from inside, it's very easy to use. You just remove a panel that's magneted, that's attached with magnets, basically. Remove that, open the door, and then a telescoping ladder will just fall down and you can get out that quick. So here's our third marker light for the passenger side of the coach. Then when I look up and see this nice big window here, again, this is a window that you can open. Right above it is our Gerard Power window awnings. We have those throughout the coach. Those are really nice. You can leave those out all the time. Um, unlike your big Nova Pitch Gerard awnings, those are a little, you know, they're much longer, give you more shade, but just when you're in the campground, you want a little extra shade in your rooms, you can put out those power awnings, which is really nice. Then right below that, we've got our second docking light for the passenger side of the coach and another storage compartment, nice size storage compartment there. Our last compartment, obviously very important, is our chassis batteries. So very easy to get to right here. Our chassis battery disconnects. If we are not lucky enough to have you as a storage customer at National Indoor RV Centers, where we store at least 300 coaches indoor, always hooked up to 50 amp service or 30 amp service, whatever they require. Um, if you are storing someplace else that you're not connected to your 50 amp or 30 amp power, you need to make sure you hit those battery disconnects off or you will probably come back to a dead coach because there's just enough of a parasitic draw that it could uh, take all the life out of your batteries. So you don't want that, that's bad. Um, let us take care of you at National Indoor RV Centers. We have full valet service that comes complimentary with our storage. So all you need to do is just give us a call. Let us know you want to pick up your coach. We will take it out of storage. We will fill up the fresh water tank, air up your tires to whatever you like them at or what the manufacturer has specified they should be at. Um, and then you just drive in, pick it up. You can leave your car or hook up your tow vehicle and hit the road. Here are the fuses behind this panel for the back half of the coach. And then we have our air dryer and the fuel water separator and fuel filter. Just up from the chassis compartment, we have our dryer vent. The new air sits on the Spartan K2 chassis. It has a 450 horsepower engine. So I like to refer to this as a little rocket ship. So with only 35 feet in length and 450 horsepower, this thing will really pick up a move. You're going to love it. Now we've got the hitch here, which is rated for 10,000 pounds flat towing. We've got our seven way for our brake lights and we've got our airline for our tow vehicle that's all set up for us. So that's super nice. Top of the coach, you'll see the marker lights here in the middle, just above the brake light is another camera that contributes to that 360 bird's eye view that I'll show you when we get inside at the display. It's really cool. And then let's check out what's in our engine compartment here. Even the engine compartment is pretty, isn't it? <laughs> so right here we have our um, Oasis hydronic heating fluid, power steering fluid, hydraulic fluid, our engine oil fill and our engine oil dipstick, transmission stick and uh, fill, engine block heater. So if that's turned on, then you can turn that on from inside the coach anytime that you need it. If you need the, to use that engine block heater, you probably need to go a little bit further south. Here's the coolant for the coach and our little window so we can see that should always be full and it's a pink fluid. Here we've got our 
um, air engine air filter filter minder. So when that yellow line gets up to the red, it's time to change the filter. If you look right here, now this is just more for information. I don't recommend it. That is the little beeper that makes a sound when you're in reverse. So if ever you needed to disconnect that, you could do that here, but that's what that is. Here we have our engine air cleaner. See the vented area here? This is where we're gonna bring in ambient air. It's gonna come in through here, go through the air cleaner, and then into our engine. As I come around the rear of the coach, you can see here that we've got this side radiator. This is great for a couple of reasons. It's nice because obviously we can service our engine very easily. Um, so having this on the side is great. Plus it brings in more ambient air into the engine and it's able to cool that. It's cleaner, cooler, and makes the engine more efficient. Also a little radiator maintenance. Good thing to do is just take your um, garden hose, put your thumb over it so it's not too strong, and then just gently wash out uh, the, wash the front of the radiator and keep that clean and it will keep working more efficiently. Next up is our DEF compartment. So this is our diesel exhaust fluid. This is super important. You've got to watch your levels and you have gauges up at the dash. Um, just remember that it doesn't like heat or sunlight and it does have an expiration. So usually it's good for about a year. So just watch that if you're buying it at Walmart or at the service station um, in the container and traveling with it, that you make note of when you bought, bought it and when you put it in. We've got our first docking light for the driver's side of the coach. Again, super important. Then here you're gonna see an exhaust and you're probably wondering what that is. That is for your aqua hot and we'll get to that here shortly. And we've got our first marker light for the driver's side of the coach. So here we have our wet bay. So first of all, I love how Numar makes this look. You know, it's not a pretty job. The wet bay is where you do all the dirty work. <laughs> um, so at least they make it look nice and pretty with the stainless steel front. I think that's really nice. Let's just go ahead and I'll walk you through it. The other thing that's really nice is everything's really nicely labeled. So I think they do that just for me. <laughs> We've got the filter for the house and an extra filter here. Hot and cold low point drains. This is our auto tank fill, so we just move that accordingly to how we're hooked up. We've got our fresh water tap here. We can just hook up a hose right to that. Gray tank rinse and our black tank rinse. Now, one of the things when I'm talking about a rinse, um, the tanks come in all different sizes. I know a lot of times before I saw one outside of a coach, I thought it was like a big square tank, but they are shaped accordingly so that they're most efficiently placed inside each floor plan. So uh, when it says rinse, that means they're just forcing a little water in through there to help push everything through, but it's not truly a rinse like you think of in a rinse cycle in a dishwasher, um, which is what I initially thought. Uh, so these are our low point gray drains for our gray tank and our black tank. And this is the RV SantaCon system, which is your macerator for your black tank. You can turn that on and off here. Here's the hose for that. Um, and that will just snake through. There's a uh, access point there in that compartment so that you can just put it through and then seal off your coach so you're not, you're not gonna have any critters coming through. Same with your fresh water supply. Here's your hose and it is on an auto reel. And again, that's just gonna go right through there to keep the space sealed when you're all hooked up at the campground. Now, if you're new to RVing and you haven't ever hooked up all this stuff and you're a little concerned, I do a full video from a start to trip, start, start of a trip, prepping, and then getting to the campground, setting up, breaking down camp, and getting home. So I took a coach from Atlanta to Louisiana to Dallas. Um, that is my RVing 101 series. I also have some great tips and trips um, tips and tricks from actual RVers that um, you know tell you how to store their stuff, what they like to bring with them. Find it very um, helpful for a lot of my customers. So go check that out if you're interested. Here's the auto reel. You'll love that. Plus we've got the valves here. If you do a manual dump, if you bring an extra stinky slinky along and you want to hook up here, here are your manual tank dump valves. And then we have our shower, which is super nice. I like this. If you're at the beach, you never get back to your coach without sandy feet 
or sandy something. So it's kind of nice to be able to wash off out here. If you have furry friends that you want to wash off, you can do that out here with hot and cold water. We've got this panel here that's going to give us some great information. It's going to give us our tank levels. So fresh tank uh, capacity in the new air is 105. Black is 40. Gray is 60. Then we can go to our water. We can turn on our water pump here or go to our autofill settings turn on the security light on the driver's side and the passenger side from here and then we've got the generator button here we can start our generator and stop it from here which is really nice and it also give us gives us our run hours great display here this whole compartment is plastic so and it has drains in it we know you're going to get water we know it's going to get wet in here you can squirt it out and also you can tell that this coach has been winterized if you don't have us winterize your coach at national indoor rv centers then you can do it yourself and it gives you the instructions right here just above the wet bay we have our driver's side security light and then we've got our next camera that again contributes to that 360 view when you get at your display at the dash you're going to love it i promise now onto our oasis hydronic heating system this is going to be your on-demand continuous hot water and your furnace once you drop below like 33 de degrees um, also that is the exhaust for your aqua hot system just above the oasis system we have our cable connection here and then we've optioned in the central vac this is great because you can vacuum at your baggage compartments, hook up your hose out here. This is also where you would change your filter. And you can also drive your car up right next to this and vacuum at your car if you need to, which is a nice option. 50 amp shore power cord. Again, that's gonna go right through that rubber grommet there and keep everything nice and secure inside here. And this is a power reel, which, I basically can't live without. <laughs> if you've ever tried to wrestle one of these on a cold morning and get it into the compartment, it's a real pain. So I do love that. And then you have your RV uh, power transfer switch just beyond that. We always put at that in our coaches if it doesn't come standard. And I even recommend doing another one at the pole or having National Indoor RV Centers install one um, connected to your cord so that you always have that extra insurance. That's what I like to call it. Um, we also have the RV power monitor, so you can just scroll up for information there. Again, nicely lit compartment. Everything is really nicely tucked in there. Now to our storage compartments. So you can see this is the back side of that tray that looks like it may be a pasture, but it's not. But it gives you a lot of space here to so store some bigger items. And right here, you can see the back side of our inverters. So. This is something that's super, super excited for the 2023 new, new air. Standard now is the lithionic battery system. So you get two lithium battery packs versus your old eight AGM batteries. And I'm gonna tell you some of the benefits of that here. These are your two inverters. And then the next compartment are our two lithionic battery packs. With the lithium batteries, you get 640 amps versus 320 amps, and you have a consistent 13.1 volts of power. The batteries will charge twice as fast, and it reduces the weight of the coach by 450 pounds. So guys, you can take 450 more pounds of your stuff. Um, so it takes up less storage space. They're rated for 3,000 full recharge cycles. So basically seven to 10 years of life, depending on how you use them. With the second inverter, you can run and operate your roof AC for about six to eight hours. You can even add a third battery for extra power, which will take you up to 960 amps for extended usage. Next to the batteries, we have a little extra storage compartment. Always like when Numar gives us all any additional space that we can use for storage because I know I'll find something to put in there. Our second docking light for the driver's side of the coach and our fuel fill for the driver's side of the coach and our second marker light for the driver's side of the coach. So we have another exhaust pipe here. This is for our generator. So in this compartment here, we've got the T-bar to release our front cap so that generator will come out. We've got our fuses for the front half of the coach 
and we have the extra fuses, which Numar always gives us so that they're not rolling around in some, you know, Ziploc bag in the coach in a drawer that I can't find them at. So underneath the front cap, let's walk through what we've got here. Here are the air horns. So I always like to keep those on when I'm driving something this big. Just below the air horns is a windshield wiper fluid. Just above that, we have the hot water line to the generator area. This is where I can hook up my hose and wash off my front cap and windshield. We have a quick connect here for um, pumping up, you know, footballs, pool toys, uh, stand up paddle boards, whatever you like there. Wussy horns. And then we have the fuel oil filter for our Oasis hydronic heating system. Just above the fuel oil filter is the light for the compartment. Great to have if you have to monkey with all this stuff in the dark. Just below that, we have our Onan uh, 8,000 watt generator. We can service it here and we can start it here. Flip the breaker here if we were to trip it inside and we have our generator hours. Dash AC unit. And over here to the left, we have the reservoir for our, our HWH system for our slide rooms and our jacks. Now we've seen everything cool on the outside of the coach. Now let's go check out the inside, but let me just give you a little note too. I do break the video up into chapters. So if you want to skip ahead to the interior, or if you want to go back to something on the exterior, you can look down at the chapters and go right to the portion of the video that you want to see. As we step into the new era, there's some things I want to point out. First of all, I love that Numar always gives us great handlebars here coming in and out of the coach so you can safely get out. Now, another cool thing is right here in our steps, we have storage. So this is a second step. So we have it, it's too deep. And then that one's, you know, just one deep, but that's a lot of storage. I know customers that like to keep dog food in there, their collars, their leashes. Um, or you can put muddy shoes in there, your rain jacket, things that you don't want to, you know, bring into the coach because it's going to make it dirty. Now, right here to the side, when we walk in, we've got our fire extinguisher. That is super important. You may need it outside or you may need it inside the coach. Hopefully, hopefully you'll never need it inside. Um, something you ought to look into is Protang. NIRVC sells it exclusively. It's a fire suppression system and it will, it's activated uh, at a certain heat point. Obviously all fire is, but um, the video explains it better than I can right here in this short little bit, but you can customize it to your coach. So you can decide which compartments you want it in. If you just want to do engine, you can just do engine, um, but give us a call and we'll, we'll give you a quote on that. Easy peasy. We also go to a lot of shows, FMCA rallies, our AIM rallies, where we can do install on the spot. Then we've got the cargo lock and unlock. So if the automatically lock when you turn on the engine. So when you get to the campground, you want to just hit the unlock button, your patio light, which is right outside the door, and then your battery disconnect for your house batteries. Storage is always super important in an RV. So I wanted to let you know what we have up here in the cockpit area, small storage space here. Those are the controls for your Gerard awnings and another small storage space here. a lot more storage here in this compartment. So we've got also the solar panel charger. So you can see what kind of amps that's bringing in. Now there's also an optional um, overhead TV that you can put here. So it's kind of nice to see what you get when you don't have the TV. These are the cabinets and the space. Now here is kind of your control, one of your control panels for the coach. So we're going to start here with our Gerard awning control. So I, did this earlier from out from inside the coach. You just unlock, turn it on. Zero will bring out both of your awnings together, one and two. So at the same time, out and in, and you just hit the out button and then hit the in button, or you can change channels. One will just bring your first awning out. Two is your second awning, and then you're back to zero. So you've got that plus your remote control, which I, I, I found, and I'm going to show you where I found it. <laughs> I think I looked in every drawer in the coach except that one. So here's the controller looks just like that and works the same, super easy, but it's nice. I usually keep this outside so that when I've got the exterior TV on, I can go ahead and pull out the awnings and it's right there with me. 
Next is our over the air antenna. So you just turn that on. It's gonna lock on to local stations for you. Then we have our Wi-Fi router button, entry step button. So once we're at the campground, we don't want that step to keep going in and out. It's annoying, plus it's just needlessly using that motor. So hit that so that it will stay extended when you are camping. Your exterior LED lights. So these are, these are the lights that are underneath your slide rooms. Really nice to have that, especially when you're getting in those bays at night. Slide out room controllers for your passenger and driver side slide out. Just make sure those seats are moved forward enough so that you don't hit them when you're coming in or out. Your um, entry door awning and your entry door awning light. And then we've got the pi privacy drapes for the driver, which is to the left of the driver, the front privacy drape, the door privacy drape, and then the passenger privacy drape. And these are our security lights on the driver's side and on the passenger side. And this is just a, another plug-in port where one of our technicians at National Indoor RV Centers can plug into the systems of New Air and get some diagnostic information. Above the driver's seat, we have the Wi-Fi Ranger, our WineGuard satellite, and you can see that this compartment is ventilated. You get a lot of direct sun right here, plus those having anything in there, it gets a little hot, so they ventilate it so things don't overheat. And two more storage compartments. Welcome to the beautiful interior, spacious living room of the 35 49. Now I've turned the captain's chairs around so you can see that with those turned around you get two extra chairs that recline, they have foot rests. Then we've optioned in the full sofa here with the uh, ottomans and the ottomans dual as you can you know set those on your lap if you want. If you're eating dinner they kind of can become your TV tray which I love and then you have all that storage too. So I like that you've got some extra options with this. This will make into a bed. I'll show you that in a minute here. And then we've got the booth dinette, which is quite roomy. That's across and we also have an extension for this as well. So just beautiful furniture, feels really nice. This is the Sparta interior with the mink rift oak cabinets and they are the high gloss. And I love them, they're kind of light, really opens up this room quite a bit. We have multiplex lighting panels throughout the coach. So I'll go over a few of them, probably not all of them because they're fairly similar. So we've got our lighting controls here for our ceiling lights, our kitchen lights, our overhead lights and our accent lights and the courtesy lights. And we have our shade controls. So you can do your day shades and your night shades all up, all down in different areas here. So we have the kitchen, um, day shade, kitchen, night shade, and you can just scroll through those. We have the control for the fantastic um, air vent in the kitchen. So high, medium, low, the rain sensor override, and the one for the master bath as well. Systems. So this is where we can turn on our water pump and do our TV lift. So let's go ahead and hit the TV lift up. Now one of the things is I bring up this nice TV. Last year in 2022, they made the Numar windows. They like made them bigger. They go to the very corner. Um, so you get great visibility when you're in this coach. I should have shot a picture when we were outside, but it's one of the big selling points. You have uh, this type of windows in the King Air, the Essex, and the new air now, and I just love it. So look at this nice big 50 inch Samsung 4K TV on the TV lift up, and we're gonna go ahead and just take it back down so you can see that big window. New option for 2023 is that you can option in windows that open. I think I mentioned that outside, and then I'll show you that from the inside. But just remember, one of the big selling points for me in the new air are the windows. They are incredible. Also, the storage space. Let's go ahead and look at that here above the dinette and remember we've got this patio side dinette now these are headers this coach is built just like your home is so you have headers you have aluminum framing 16 inch on center about two and a half inch thick walls with batten insulation in there so that you're going to keep it cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter we've got our sound bar above 
and our audio visual cabinet now it's empty now because most of us don't use much equipment we're all streaming right but we do have the satellite you can also hdmi anything in here you've got the cords already available to you your satellite inputs and you've got three extra 110 outlets and that we have another storage cabinet and let's check out the storage over on this side above our sofa so nice amount of storage here so one of the things that i've seen customers customize are these cabinets they're recessed a little bit in the center which is nice makes it a little bit easier to stand up some people want a little extra space so they'll go ahead and take them and go directly straight across so they're all the same depth um, again I would think you can do this on this coach, but it's one of those things you have to special in. We have to ask Numar, and then they let us know if they'll do that special. So again, that's where our RV lifestyle specialists come into play. Get with them, they are specialists. They can find out what Numar is willing to do and what the cost will be, but you really can customize this coach. Here's the first thermistor for the, first, the front of the coach. That's going to speak to the thermostat to make sure that you keep a nice temperature inside the coach. Now we are obviously not at a beautiful park. We are inside the building at National Indoor RV Centers in Las Vegas, but I did want to show you how easy these windows open. So they just open. And as you open, you can have that screen or you can push the screen just magnets there and you're fully open, you know, talk to your neighbor but again if you want to keep those bugs out then just keep the screen again this is an optional feature and i think you can see in the corner how big those windows are really um, minimize balance and more window that's what we're going for in the new air and just below the multiplex lighting panel are your two 110 outlets and two usb charging ports now you also have other options that you can put here I believe you can put theater seating. I haven't seen the floor plan. Typically the floor plan that you see when you go onto New Bar's site will show you how it comes standard. And then when you work with an RV lifestyle specialist, they can see the floor plan and all the options. So I don't have that with me, but I'm assuming that we could put theater seating in this location if we didn't do the big sofa. But the big sofa does give you the option of having a guest sleep over with the bed. your base and then you just fold down the back of your sofa okay and also while I'm here I want to show you this you have behind the sofa two uh, 110 outlets here and then two 110 outlets with two charging ports there and now push that into place and you've got your mattress. Pretty easy. I haven't even broken a sweat. Well, I'm still sweating because I'm in Vegas, but <laughs> that's pretty easy to do. Booth dinette is awesome, really roomy. Now that we have our guests, we have extra sleeping space for them. Well, we want to have extra eating space too. So I've gone ahead and you, I'm going to extend it. Super easy, just pull that out and grab my extra leaves. and then push my table back. And then I've got a support leg that I'm gonna let drop down. I'm gonna push my table back in and then just bring my leg out. So now, look at the size of that table. You can have some fun. You can get six people to this easily. Let me get my extra chairs. So now I've added my two leaves, my support leg, my extra chairs. It is party time and dinner at the Morels tonight but I think we're gonna order in. <laughs> you also get two seat belts in this, with the sofa, something that you wouldn't get in the recliners, but you will get in the theater seating. And then you have one seat belt here in your booth, along with storage. You can see the seat belt there. Nice amount of storage there on both sides of the underside of that booth. Check out the beautiful ceiling feature on the new era. Now, one of the things I always like to point out is you'll notice that there's 
no vent lining the ceiling. We have this beautiful vinyl touch ceiling, LED lights, the AC vents are all behind this panel here and your return is there as well. So it just makes it nice and clean and pretty. So you have two AC units on the uh, new air. Notice a beautiful tile on the new air floor and we have optioned in floor heat. So you have different zones. It's an electric heat pad underneath uh, the tiles. So it's very even and it's really nice. A lot of my customers don't even use their furnace. So they just turn on their heated floors and then turn on the circulating air and it just kind of keeps it nice and cozy in here. Uh, also, I mentioned the, op the ottomans a little bit earlier. Those are optional items as well. So again, so many things to standards and options. Make sure you give us a call and we can go through it all with you. I love the kitchen on the new air. First of all, you have a lot of counter space, especially if you're not using your cooktop. Go ahead and pe keep those cooktop covers on. They also second as cutting boards, so I love that they're usable as well, but they give you that extra space to cut on and prep your meal. Then we have our induction cooktop. So any pan that a magnet will attach to will work on this. And then you also have the option of taking this outside, unplugging it here, and you can just walk that outside, plug it into those outlets just by the TV, and you can you know, get an extension cord, take it up to the picnic table. You can cook your food out there. And I like that option for a couple reasons. If I'm making salmon, which is a favorite, um, I prefer not to have my coach smell like it for the rest of the day and the next day. So I typically will do that outside. I love the beautiful countertops. And then we have our sink and our fun sink covers, and we can store those below. Got the nice sink here residential faucets and then we've got the big window which opens so that's really nice just above that we've got our samsung convection microwave oven so you can do all of your fun baking and microwaving in there and storage this is a um, movable shelf so you can take it out if you want you know more height and then these drawers extend which make it so usable especially for those of us that are vertically challenged makes it really nice now right underneath the cabinets we're going to have one two 110 outlets here two 110 outlets there and also we can add a little light i believe if you want a little extra light you can get that from the microwave so that's nice then we've got our big drawer which will hold tons of utensils. I really like this drawer. Um, also something nice that Numar gives you is a little touch-up paint. For those boo-boos that you might have, you can do your little touch-ups on your own. If you happen to have bigger boo-boos, give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. We have the best paint and collision body shop in the country, hands down. And we will help you with everything, insurance, you name it. Uh, guess what, I have a video on that as well. So if you want more information on it and how we uh, do our, you know, some of, see some of our results and uh, talk with or listen to one of our paint and body managers, just go ahead and watch that video. Optional dishwasher below the big drawer. And then we have our nice pull-outs here. These are great for spices and they are soft clothes as well which I love, 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 love. Storage below. This is really nice because it opens up to this area as well. So you can see you have a lot of space down there. Love that we have a spot for our uh, trash can and we also have a spot for our sink covers. So when we're using that sink, we can just put those away and shut everything up. And one more, we've got our little flip down here for our sponges and such. Now to our Samsung refrigerator. First of all, I love this look. No handles, it's nice and sleek, and you just grab it from below. So really, less fingerprints, right? Oh, it feels so good in here, nice and cool. <laughs> and then we have our freezer with ice maker. This is our refrigerator freezer lock. So when you're heading out to take a trip, you wanna make sure you have a checklist of things that you check. You wanna make sure that you lock that 
so that those don't come flying open during travel. I have a checklist. If you want a copy of mine, just email me at Angie at nirvc.com. Now, look at this huge pantry get with this floor plan. How great is that? I absolutely love it. So you might pull on these and think they're locked. Push in, pull out. Got our Newmar Bible here with all of our manuals in it. <laughs> but that's a nice big space there, you know, for Instapot, for um, air fryer, a mixer, for chocolate chip cookies. That's what I make most of the time. <laughs> but check out that pantry. Really nice, and I love the locking shelves, so they're not going to come out during travel. Space for your pans here. You can line them right up. It's just such a nice pantry, and it's lit as well. So I really like that because you can see everything that's in there all the way to the back. Another little pantry there to the side. And then we've got our control panel here I'm going to go over next. But before I do that, I wanted to point out that we have our central back and dustpan so you can just sweep everything over to your dustpan and away it goes i love it here's the control panel for the coach you can do a lot of the functions right here so here's the home button it's going to give you the date and time temperature uh fresh water tank eight percent full black is zero gray is 24 your house batteries are at 82% and the chassis batteries are at 12.9. Uh, we are in, sh we're plugged into shore power right now. So it kind of just walks you through the information of the coach. Um, and I'm going to show you a really cool setting here in a second, um, an app on the phone that will give you even more uh, battery information. Then you can go to your generator. You can start and stop from here. And this is where you can set up, do your auto gen start settings. Water, this is where you can turn on your water pump on and off and your auto fill on and off. Also, it's gonna give you your tank levels again for your fresh, black, and gray. And remember, this is 105, 40, and 60. Our climate screen, you can do it all together all zones or you can do each individual so you can go to bath living room you can easily adjust the temperature up or down the fan up or down and then cool auto or heat so very easy to work your engine block heater we've got it plugged in outside if we want to turn it on we can turn it on from here batteries more information here and again I want to show you that app but it's going to let you know uh, how much of a charge you have left you, or you have eight you're 82 percent charged um, you're always going to stay with the lithium batteries at above 13.1 or you should uh, and then we go to coach mode so this is basically giving us a, the different options of when you're camping and then you can check what you want. So right now we are plugged in indoors and we have enabled the chargers, disabled AutoGen and disabled Oasis. We don't need it, but you can go through each one of these and you can click what you want on or off. So it's pretty cool. And go back to indoors plugged in. Floor heat, this is where you can turn on your floor heat and each section is individual. So if you just want to have the living room nice and warm, keep the bedroom cool, you can do that easily. Here we can go to our camera. So we can flip through our cameras. That's where I say, and if you hear a noise outside and you wanna check out the cameras, just easily pull that up. Your lights, so you have lights throughout the coach, on and off, different section, exterior lights, Shades, TV left, go to that, and go back. All lights off, all lights on, very easy to navigate. And then we've got our shade lifts, individual button for that, vents for our fans. So we've got the living room and the one, the stool room fan and our awnings. We can take those in and out here. So these are our power window awnings and then our shades and our lights. So lots of things that you can do right on here. And then here's the settings buttons. 
if you need to check in to any of these set the clock um, go to your generator settings all that is just right in there so this is what I'm really excited to show you you can be sitting outside and check your battery life here so this is a lithionics battery app and it's going to tell you right here the battery state of charge so we're at 81% right now it's going to let us know the voltage we're at 13.2 as long as it's green it's normal when it get, if that number goes to red the voltage is too low or too high then it's going to tell us our um, net current draw we're at 36.2 right now Ed, red indicates that it's discharging current green indicates that it's charging current then we have our power button this is our net power draw in watts so red indicates again discharging power green would be um, charging power then we go to our battery so we're at 111 green is normal temperature if it was red that means the temperature is too high or too low and then we have our battery management system that's the temperature again green means we're all good and red would mean that it's too hot then we have the state um, the power state and it's on and if you see a little green like flashing green light that's sort of like the heartbeat of it which means it's healthy and then we have time remaining which is going to be basically how much time we have left of using the batteries it's not going to be accurate right now because we are plugged in um, obviously if you were you know using something and turned it off that time's going to go up if you add a di you know if you turn on an extra um, AC unit that time's going to go down and then status code will give you more information so it's just kind of cool that you can have all that right at your fingertips I really like that new feature with the um, lithionic bat battery package in the 3549 you have the split bathroom so we have our shower and then our commode sink over here just want to let you know that you do have privacy doors between the living area and the bathroom and then also the bathroom and the bedroom but check out this shower it's nice and big we've added the shower assist handle here we have the flip down seat so if you need a little extra room you can just push that right back up then I love that they give you the shampoo conditioner and body wash we've got the fixed shower head along with the handheld device and then we've got our uh, hot and cold features here we also have the aquaview shower miser so that's really great it's a way to save the water in your fresh water tank and in your gray water tank so basically you know normally you get into a shower you have to wait a while for that hot water to come up this way you're going to turn this little knob that is going to light up when it lights up that means that your water is hot so then you just have the the just the water that's in the line here is the only thing that's going to be cold so if you just let that run out for just one second you're going to have a nice warm shower and that way you're not unnecessarily using the water in your fresh tank and you're not unnecessarily filling your gray tank which is you know fills up really quick as we all know then we go across here to the bathroom and just opening that door gives you a lot of privacy actually so beautiful doors we've got nice storage here our toilet paper holder more storage below and then we have our commode this is where we're going to have our emergency exit door I'll do that for you in just a second push button controls for the toilet and you can see that I've got the courtesy light turned on and more storage below nice big cabinet and two 110 outlets I love that we have the solid surface countertop the sink with the again residential faucets love the backsplash in the new air love it in the kitchen love it in the bathroom and then the mirror is awesome because we have this huge medicine cabinet behind the mirror and two more 110 outlets so that's super nice and we have a control panel multiplex lighting system in here that will control your mirror lights I'm going to turn those on so whew, did you see that now I can really do my makeup. <laughs> I love that though. And let's go ahead and do that emergency egress door while we're here. So you're just going to unlock it and then unlock here. Remove this panel, which is just 
has magnets down the side and that's how it stays on. Remove it and do the strap. There's your exit. Super easy. So welcome to the beautiful master bedroom of the new air. I absolutely love this room. First of all, you can make it like a cave at night if you want to, so you could sleep all day if you were that tired. So it has great windows, but we've got the blackout and the day shades down. So windows on either side of the bed, plus the window behind the bed. And then we've got the beautiful sconces. I love the soft uh, leather headboard there. And then our king size bed. And this is a sleep number bed as well. And of course, we've got storage below. So we've got our extra leafs for our dinette table and then extra storage there. Now, the other thing I love that Newmar does is they give you a little extra space on either side of the bed. So I can actually get my hand down there so to make the bed, which is a huge big deal. And then we've got our nightstand on either side and we've got a little access port here so we can run a, 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 one of our cords through there because we have our one tin outlets and our two USB outlets plus storage. So we have this cabinet on both sides of the bed. Then we have more storage above the bed and we have one tin outlet plus the ports where we can bring wires down if we need to our reading lights and we have a control panel underneath the bed. So while I'm laying in bed, I control, I can control all my lights. Plus I can just do the all lights off button, which is great because you don't have to think, worry if you left all the lights on or off in the coach. And you can do the shades, the fan, water pump, monitor panel. So look, I can look at the levels of my batteries right here, my tanks, the power that I'm pulling in and I can take this display down to where it's nothing so that it's not gonna be shining in my face all night. And when I go to the lighting, I can turn on those uh, reading lights and my driver's side and my passenger side security lights from right here. And with the reading lights, you can change the direction of where that light hits. And you've got the cable ports on either side of the bed too. So if you wanna plug something in in the storage compartment and run the cable through here, you have the ability to do that. Here on the other side of the bed, step up a little bit so I'm taller now. <laughs> Again, great access to those, that storage above. Nightstand, space in between, and our cubby below with the charging, 110 and two USB. And we have our great wardrobe space here. Lights up when you open the door. We've got the hanging bar, the safe, and the recessed shoe area, so that's really nice. And we've got our breaker box with our fuses right inside there. Nicely labeled with the extra fuses like Numar always does. I just love that. I've got the extra chairs for the dinette in the back wardrobe here, but you could put those in your outside storage as well. Right next to the wardrobe, we've got our washer and dryer Splendid, which is great. And you can just tuck them away, close the door. More storage. And we've got sort of our AV cabinet here. So we've got our um, connections for cable, HDMI, three 110 outlets that are available. Our 43 inch Samsung TV, adjustable shelves, more storage. Love all the counter space that we have here. And check out those drawers. Again, those are all gonna be soft clothes. And nice deep drawers below. We have the vaulted ceiling in the master bedroom, which I think makes it feel even bigger and more luxurious. Again, the LED lights. We've got our speakers over here and we've got our carbon monoxide detector here. Slide room controls. Remember, this is a quad slide, so we're gonna bring in both sides of the bedroom when it comes in. This bed will fit right against this, so they're gonna come right together. But you could sleep in this bedroom without taking your slides out if you needed to. If you're in an area where you couldn't take them out, you can easily get to your bathroom, get to your bed, which is great. There are your slide room controls. Thermistor for the 
bedroom area, control panel for the bedroom area, and then your speaker lights. And you can see we've got the courtesy lights turned on. So if you need to get to the restroom in the middle of the night, you can easily and safely do that. I always like to show the coach with the slides in. That way you can see if you can get to your bed, which you can easily do with the slides in. You can sleep there. You can get into the shower, fully get into the bathroom, no problem. The other great thing is that you can easily get into your pantry here. And then it opens up even bigger, so no problem getting to your refrigerator, prepping food at the sink, and then you can easily get through here as well. Actually quite nice big walking space. Yeah. All right, so we're finally to the cockpit area. First of all, let's go over these lovely chairs. They are so comfy. So we've got the six-way powered seat, so forward and back, up and down. And then we've got the control here for your lumbar support, the backrest, and this will be for the footrest once we turn this chair around and we've got the heat. So on the other side, we just have one lever that you simply pull up and that's what allows you to rotate the chair once you're not in the driving position and you're camping and you want to um, move the captain's chair into the dining area. Over here to my left, we have our HWH computerized leveling system. So this is very easy to work. You're just going to, when you get to your camp spot, hit the auto level and all these buttons are going to light up. It's going to, you're going to hear the air leave and the jacks come down. When you have four corners with red dots, that means that you're a level. If for some reason you are not able to level, it's going to give you an excess slope warning. So you're not level. You need to adjust the coach and then try again. Now, if you try the second time and you're still not leveling, you may want to just give your coach a rest for about 20 minutes because you don't want to continually keep doing, um, trying to make those pumps work. They will overheat. So once you are level, four corners with red dots, go ahead and turn everything off and your jacks are set. When you're ready to leave, you're going to go ahead to, and push auto store and then they're going to come up and you'll let you know that you're in travel mode. So that's really nice. So then we have our Allison transmission here, reverse, neutral drive. If we push the plus and the minus together, we're gonna get our um, engine information here, oil level, invalid, engine, RPM too low, we're not started here, and your oil life is 98%, filter's okay, and you can go through that information. You can also put yourself into economy mode. I usually stay there just to, um, you know, why, why not? And you can also manually shift from here if you need to as well. Next up is our heated mirrors, external mirrors, and then we can internally control them. Our ATC override, I'm always gonna keep that in auto um, unless I'm in, let's say, you know, sand where I need a little extra traction. I might pick it off there. Engine brake on and off, very easy. And our electric window right here two cup holders. Now this is our house and battery boost button. Everyone needs to know where this is because it's very important if you come back to your coach and batteries are dead. I had to do it recently. Now if you come back to your coach and your house batteries are dead, then you want to push this down to tie your house and your chassis batteries together and then you can try to start your engine. Start your engine, let it run for a while, then you can start the generator and you're gonna start charging up those batteries. Now, if you come and your chassis batteries are dead, you're gonna to wanna to push the battery boost button and get enough power there to start your generator. Let that run for a little bit. Go ahead and start your engine. I'm telling you, this is a button everyone needs to know about. The bright and dim is for all of these buttons and the accent lights. So they're just too bright at night. You can go ahead and push dim. Dome is for the light right above the driver's seat. And then this is your auto high beams. Now this is another new feature for 2023. Numar added uh, better lights, so brighter high beams and brighter low beams. And then you have the auto high beams um, when you're driving at night, or you can turn those off if you want, but that's a really nice feature. Wireless charging pad. And then right above that are our light controls. So we have our auto lights and then off parking headlights and then pull out for our fog lights. Just 
go ahead and keep those on auto. And then we have our parking brake, pull to apply, push to release. To the left of me here, I have nice storage area, two USB charging ports, and then a USB port and auxiliary port. Down here, I've got the pedal so that I can adjust my steering column control. Just push that down, and then right next to that, you'll see a green Deutsch plug. That is for a technician at National Land RV Centers to plug into your coach and uh, communicate with the coach and run diagnostics. A few changes I'm excited to tell you about on the steering column itself. First thing right here on the steering column, we have this lever here that when we pull it out, turns on your hazards. Everyone's always trying to push it in and figure out how to get it to go off. You just put your turn signal on and it goes off. Then we obviously have our turn signal here. We also have our cruise control here. So we would just turn that on to turn the cruise control on, push in to set it, and then resume. And then we also have our high beams here that we can flash on and off if needed. On the steering column itself, we've got our phone. We can Bluetooth our phone so we can answer and hang up. Our windshield wiper controls, so high and low windshield wiper fluid. And then this is where we can customize the, the timing of our windshield wipers. So I push it, count, 1-1000, 2-1000, 3-1000, 4-1000, 5-1000, 6-1000, 7-1000, 8-1000, 9-1000, 10-1000, 11-1000, 12-1000, 13-1000, 14-1000, 15-1000, 16-1000, 17-1000, 18-1000, 19-1000, 20-1000, 21-1000, 22-1000, 23-1000, 24-1000, 25-1000, 26-1000, 27-1000, 28-1000, 29-1000, 30-1000, 31-1000, 32-1000, 33-1000, 34-1000, 35-1000, 36-1000, 37-1000, 38-1000, 39-1000, 40-1000, 41-1000, 42-1000, 43-1000, now that's the speed it's going to go at. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, and so on. Then we are going to have our horn. Again, always keep the air horn on. So we have another spot that we can flash our high beams here. And then we have our marker lights. These are great for communicating with truckers as you're going down the road. If a trucker is past you and you want to let him know that it's safe that he, so he can pull in front of you, flash at one time your high beams. If the trucker has done the same thing for you and he's letting you know it's safe for you to pull in, you can flash your markers three times to thank him. Then we've got our radio controls here. So our volume and skip, we can seek both ways and we can mute here in the middle. Over here is gonna be information on the coach and on the dash. So if I go to the home button, I can see different information that I can scroll through. So I'll just start at the top here with brightness. So I can tr control the brightness of my screen. If I click into that, you can adjust it. Um, messages, if you have any diagnostic messages, they'll light up here. Settings, so let's go here. So this is where we're gonna go to our tire pressure monitoring system. So we're gonna go into here. This is gonna give you tire pressure and temperature and where you would set up your tow vehicle. So you hit okay. And then right, the next one here is if you wanna do a custom, but we're gonna go down to a tire pressure monitoring system configuration and hit there. Now I'm gonna to go to tow config and then I'm just gonna hit okay and then you're going to do tow type and you can scroll through is it two wheel four wheel six wheel etc and customize that to what you're towing then we can go through trip information and then we can go to general information now click this and you can customize what information you want to be able to quickly scroll through so accelerator position, scan, exhaust temperature. Again, you can put whatever you want added to that screen on your own. Then again, just a quick TPMS, adaptive cruise control distance. You can set this here for short. You can disable it, medium or long. So totally customize that to how you like to drive there. One of the big ads for this year is that Spartan has put Comfort Drive right here on this little paddle. So you simply hit that up, Comfort Drive comes up on your screen, and then I can hit the button up or down to change that while I'm driving. So it's just super easy. I don't have to scroll through anything on the screen. It's just by the touch of a button. So I love that. And then this is for our pedal control. So I push it back. I need it all the way forward. So that's really nice. 
Then we have our ignition button here. We're in accessory mode right now. To start the engine, you're just going to push the button. You need a solid green light. If you have a flashing green light, then your key fob, your keyless key fob is not close enough. So get a solid green light. So I've got my keys right here. I'm in accessory mode. From accessory mode, I'm just going to put my foot on the brake. Green light, push down, and I start. Super easy. Our buttons below here are our visor, so that is for the shade visor for the driver. This is the front visor for the front windshield, the blackout shade for the front windshield, our docking lights. This is our overhead fan, and I can set that to high, medium, or low. This is our front fan, high or low. I can start my generator right here. Entry door lock, it automatically locks when I um, release the park brake. So right here I can unlock it to let someone in. This is my air horn button. Remember, we always want that on. Our courtesy lights and the visor for the passenger. Then we have our HVAC controls right here and we have the override button. So as long as that's on, then the passenger, passenger can control her temperature, driver can control his temperature. If it's off, then it will all be controlled by the driver. Storage drawer here and storage below. Here are our nice display screens. This is where your navigation system would be, where your camera, where you'd see your 360 camera view. And again, with the camera, you would be able to scroll through the different cameras outside. All right, to the passenger's chair, which right now, by this time of the day, I'm ready to be the passenger. <laughs> so super comfy. You're gonna have the same controls as you did on the driver's chair, the uh, footrest here, which I wasn't able to show you because it was in the driving position, and then our backrest and our lumbar support and our heat. Now you're probably wondering what this is that I'm holding here. This is just really nice because you can plop that right in there and then you've got something to hold your iPad, your um, tablet of any sort. It's just really nice and it's not cumbersome at all. If you're not using it, then you can just simply put it in one of the storage companies and it's out of your way. Here to the right of the passenger, we've got a drink holder. Now up above, you're gonna see this display, which is awesome. It's one of my favorite things. So this is so, um, the passenger can really be a co-pilot. I can put in the address where we're going in our navigation system. I can control the radio. I can control the cameras. So I can see what the driver's seeing, which is really helpful when you are the co-pilot. So you'll love that feature. Cup holder. Then we've got the ceiling light right above me. Step cover. You want to make sure you raise that up when you're traveling. You don't want anyone to get hurt or fall in the stairwell. Then I have my visor here so I can adjust that while we're driving and the map light, which is right above me. Wireless charging pad and then my HVAC controls, which I love. Right behind that too, I have two 110 outlets and two USB charging ports. All right, so we're ready to hit the road and take the new air for a test drive. Can't wait to test drive it. There's so many safety features on this coach. Uh, collision mitigation, mobile eye, um, electronic stability control. We got the tire pressure monitors, uh, cruise control, everything. So we'll test them all out and uh, let's go, let's get started. All right, so when you're first learning to drive a class A diesel, you might be a little uh, concerned because it feels different than driving your car. Your wheels, your front axle is behind you. It's literally like at the butt of your seat. So you just have to adjust for that. Your turning point is the center of that front axle. So you don't start your turn until your, the center of your front axle is at the turning point. So it just takes a little practice. I like to take my customers to a park um, that's near the dealership in Texas and let them drive around without the pressure of having other drivers around them. Once they get comfortable in the big park, it's a huge park, lots of baseball fields and stuff. Um, once they get comfortable there, then we go out on the road. Uh, and I think free ride driving is a great way to learn to get comfortable staying in your lane. Another helpful hint is to always hug the left side of the lane that you're in. 
don't stay in the left lane or everyone will be mad at you because they want to get around you because they think that you're holding up traffic, which you may be because you're RVing and just enjoying the lifestyle. Um, so you don't have to be in a hurry. That's the beauty of RVing too. But always hug the left side of the lane that you're in. Everything bad happens on the right. So those are just a few little pointers. We're gonna go ahead and get started here. Um, it is a hot day in Vegas and we haven't seemed to have been, uh, we haven't been able to find a time of day where there's not a ton of traffic. So <laughs> traffic and construction, so nothing like that for a test drive, right? Put you into real world situation from the very start. But the great thing about driving a coach is, especially when you're on freeway, um, I get, once I get up to speed, I'm gonna put it on cruise control and then I just sit back, relax, and enjoy the view. So we're set at 60. Now I can just take my foot off the accelerator, going down the road. I've got my collision mitigation system. That's gonna watch my following distance and alert me. The other great thing, I'm gonna demonstrate this for you a second. I'm just gonna to try to veer out of my lane just a little bit. When I do that, I get a vibration in my seat to let me know that I'm out of my lane. And so it's just a nice uh, warning, lane departure. Uh, also, it's gonna read the street signs and give me warning. We have electronic stability control. So when we go over those um, you know, tight turns, it's gonna keep the coach level and square, not feel like there's a lot of sway. Again, I'm sitting on the Spartan chassis with the star foundation that's reinforced by Numar. So it gives you this really nice, firm feeling ride. These big diesels are going by me and I, you don't even fill them. It's really a breeze to drive. And then a new feature for 2023 is they've added comfort drive. On, this, on the um, steering column here, it's a quick button that you can just toggle right here. So I just pull that up and I can adjust my comfort drive up and down that easy while I'm driving down the road. I love that feature. It was a little bit, um, you had to really get more comfortable with it in the past years once they integrated it into the steering and I love it. So Comfort Drive is your computer-aided driving assist. So if I had a really strong wind today, it would detect that and then adjust for me. So I'm not finding the steering wheel. As you can see, I should have both hands on the steering wheels at all times but I can literally do it with one hand, no problem. The more you drive, the more comfortable you get. Before you know it, you're drinking your soda and literally just enjoying this beautiful scenery that I have in front of me. So if you've watched my videos, you know that I always do the decibel reader. So 63.9 is what I'm getting in the new air. Nice, quiet ride. Another thing that contributes to this nice ride is the independent front suspension. So remember, you get the 450 engine, Cummins engine, Allison transmission. Um, it's just a great coach. And really, the only way you can know is to come out and get one uh, test drive for yourself. We are here to make the buying process super easy at National Indoor RV Centers. We are different from every other dealer, dealer out there, I promise. We want to have customers for life. We finance, we take in trades, we do consignments. Uh, we just try to make it as easy and pleasant as possible. Your RV lifestyle specialist is there to help you pick out the right coach. We just want you to be happy and in the coach that really fits your needs and how you want to travel. So we have no, um, you know, we're just there to help assist you in living out the dreams of owning an RV and covering um, the country and seeing just all the little towns and cool things that you get to see um, as you travel in a coach. Thank you so much for joining me today as we walk through the 2023 Newmar Newwear 3549. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this new floor plan. I think it's gorgeous, very roomy, and I'm sure you're wondering what this would cost you. Well, the current MSRP is $559,507. If you're wondering what I can sell it to you for, please give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. Or visit our website, nirvc.com. And remember, with our volume and economies of scale, 
RVs simply cost less with National Indoor RV Centers. Like I said before, it should be a pleasant experience. We wanna bring you in, help you get exactly what you want. We do tr take in trade-ins, do consignments. Uh, we can finance these beautiful RVs up to 20 years. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call today and make sure you go and check out our videos on ProTang, Paint and Body, Retroband, and our AIM Club, which is our all-inclusive motorhome club, sort of like a cruise in your coach. Come and join us and have a ton of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.